Mike. What? Yeah, yeah, yeah. 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 Mike's Daily Podcast. It is FF episode 2719, 2719. I'm at Cafe Anyway, somewhere in Podcastro Valley. Mike's Daily Podcast. The last place on earth. I'm singing my song. It's what I do at the beginning of every podcast. It's wonderful, it's wrong. But I'm singing with my voice. I'm singing to you. And that's all I got. I hope that was good. Thanks for making the choice. Mike's Daily Podcast. To be on this podcast, I'm just not rhyming today. I don't have the rhyme time thing going on. But Mike's we're here. Daily. It's excellent. Podcast. Because yeah. when you stop by a cafe anyway, people here acknowledge you and go, oh, yes, you're awesome. Sorry, I was also fighting, as I was speaking with you, a massive issue that I always deal with whenever I do a Zoom call on the computer here at Cafe Anyway. It always messes up the volume and I... Like, what is that all about? I don't know until I'm actually doing the podcast and I've, everything's been changed because Zoom just takes over. That's why it works so well is it controls everything. It micromanages your computer. Your computer hates Zoom, by the way. Your computer's like, Zoom, you're too controlling. You're a control freak. I can't stand you. But you know who I really can't stand are liars. Lying liars. There was that, uh, what's his name? He had that book. Rush Limbaugh on Lying Liars and the, he uh, it later became a, a, a senator or something in Minnesota. I can't think of it. Al Franken. <laughs> That's what you do. You just talk until it pops into your head. I don't like liars. I'm just telling you that now. And I don't like politicians who lie, which I guess is all of them. Some do it, just some jump into it and go, wow, I can lie as much as I want. This is great. And then in radio, we got a lot of those. And here's today's podcast picture. You know, people telling you they're broadcasting live from a restaurant. Because there's all these people talking in the background. But I do have a cat. That is the truth. I've got two cats. One is the wonderful Patches. And the other is Rocky. Rocky's running around here making all kinds of noise. Patches is the feral cat that adopted us. And he was outside on the lawn yesterday. And he looked so happy. I think because the grass grows a particular way this time of year when we get the first rains in the Bay Area. And he loves eating the grass. Oh, the late great Basil the Boxer would have chased him away. He probably did because we think Patches has been coming to the backyard for... As long as, well, before 2000, we lost Basil in mid 2000. So we think it's 2000, 2020 is what I meant. So it, Patches is a slight, we think he might be six or seven years old. So he might have been, he might have known Basil. But anyway, Cafe, anyway, there's a picture of Patches, a nice one from yesterday. You can see it at Mike's Daily Podcast.com, the wonderful website where you can also listen to the show. Some people are considering long term care insurance, old folks' homes, AKA nursing homes. I guess it's the nicer way of saying it. 70% of Americans turning 65. That's this. That's. 10 years away for me We'll need some long term care And support A fine article Call 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 You silly great fat article Article The cost of long term care I want to try and slip in Through the 30% That's left over But the cost of long term care Can be shockingly high And we all know The 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 brass tacks Are that it's about 5,000 $148, a little over $5,000 per month for home health aid. Dang. That's $60,000 a year. A private room in a nursing home, almost $10,000 a month. Medicaid can pay for long-term care, but only kicks in after you've spent down virtually everything. 
all your assets. Mike's out of left field recordings. Recording everything. Captures actions that will never again be repeated. The Daily Haley. The almost daily Haley. Women pay more than men as they live longer. A 55-year-old female would pay about $3,600 per year. Magnification. So that would be for offering a total lifetime coverage for over 30 years till age 85. Offering $165,000. That is long-term care insurance. Something possibly I should consider, but... (laughs) I'm thinking I'm just gonna hang out here at Cafe anyway. And hope all these people take care of me. Amazon had record-breaking sales on Cyber Monday. I forgot to buy anything on Cyber. I always forget every year. I think I did look, maybe took a little peek on Tuesday to see if some of the sales were still going on, but I didn't see anything. They say it marked its biggest ever holiday shopping event compared to the same 11-day stretch last year. Amazon, which did not disclose actual sales figures, added that shoppers worldwide bought more than 1 billion items during the 11-day stretch. That, I guess, it's uh, November 17th to Cyber Monday is what it is specifically. Last year, Amazon delivered more packages to U.S. homes than UPS did. Woo! And it surpassed it for the first time last year. And FedEx. It's been beating FedEx since 2020. Amazon expects to deliver more boxes this year. It's estimating about almost 6 billion of them, up from last year's 5.2 billion. As we go outside a cafe anyway, where we bring you Mike's Daily Podcast. Somewhere in Podcastro Valley, the last place on earth. Anyway. But the U.S. Postal Service, who I'm hearing, they're hiring. They're always hiring. They just announced in California. Still carries the most packages in part because. The cutting corners, corner. Corner. Da, 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 da. The cutting corners, corner. The Fascinating Material Project. FM Project. Heat pump water heaters. I'm going to probably need a new water heater soon. Heat pump water heater models can use 80 to 85% less energy than the least efficient gas and electric resistant varieties. Don't know what the overall cost is compared to a regular water heater, but... United Airlines I just heard Rocky the cat Rocky the cat Come over Do you want to fly on United Airlines? Come over here Outside the cafe anyway What are you doing running around? Watch out for cars Whoa Mike's Matthews Mint Park 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 The front panel will close automatically Please remain seated at all times You will travel into the incredible universe Ugh, because I got a cat clawing at me. And obesity drugs are doing really well. Eli Lilly's diabetes drug, Monjaro, performed better for weight loss than Novo Nordisk's Ozempic in a real-world study of overweight, obese adults. This is from Rob Black. I produce his podcast. He does a radio show in the Bay Area on AM 1220 KDOW in the mornings, and he's also on TV on Cron TV. The Marco Minute. The Marco Minute. And now we return you to our regularly scheduled program with Mike Matthews. There are some people who embellish a bit. They embellish on the air, you know, make things bigger than they are. Hey, you need to come down. It's amazing. Oh, look at all this stuff. This is great. And they'll, they'll promote something. Oh, cafe anyway. Oh, it's so huge. It's big. Got to check it out. Oh, to get you to be there, you know, because there'll be a, let's say the client is where they are at, the, the bar or the car dealership or whatever it is. 
And they want you to come down and check it out because you're hearing it on the radio, your imagination. It paints a picture, although people aren't using their imaginations like they used to. Back in the day, Alfred Hitchcock wouldn't actually show you the person getting stabbed. You just see the blood running down the drain, a la Psycho. But nowadays, they got to show you everything. CSI made that just horrible. They used CGI on CSI to show all kinds of disgusting things. Oh, the bullet went in this way and did this and that. No, I don't need to see that. We love you, Mike. So in radio, we use the imagine. That's always been the lure of radio to entice you through your imagination to get it to work. That's why I think these cold case files, these murder podcasts do so well because we listen to it and go, wow. And we can imagine the, the dark recesses of our mind make it 20 times worse than what it really is. Oh, and of course, Jaws. Steven Spielberg. He did. He realized he couldn't have a shark in the water because it was rusting and the, the mechanics were all Disintegrating in front of his eyes In the salt water Because salt water is highly corrosive But he did more with the music of John Williams The da dun da dun and, and enticing your brain Your imagination to make it 20 times more scary Than it was Which what, what he could do visually Ginormous With those special effects in the 70s But my point is That radio lures a type of person Who is a showboat who is who makes things bigger than they are who will use lies to their advantage it's a huckster thing it's a pt barnum thing it's big make it bigger than it really is and some people unfortunately who work in this business take it to the extreme take it into their lives to that when something like And this happened recently Someone I know got let go From a radio station And for all intents and purposes It was because of budget cuts And that kind of thing But honestly it was because He was really slacking off on his job Hey kids And uh, you know Anyone with clear eyes could see that It's me And they just weren't really in They were checked out they weren't really into the, this particular job. Don't read me the clown. They were let go. And immediately this person puts on LinkedIn, oh, they offered me a program director job, but I turned it down. So I'm gone. What? Spin factor. Wow. This is. That's that's so I'm, I'm going to thank him. And I wish him good luck with his new job moving to Washington, D.C., because he's got to work for a politician now. I mean, Trump has got to hire him. Dang. Anyway, Cafe Anyway, wanted to get to all that as well. Interesting real life type stuff, folks. Real life type stuff. And just be, be cognizant of anything a politician says. And definitely anything a radio DJ says. Or an announcer or somebody that you hear on the radio. Because unless you see it with your eyes. Touch it with your fingers. See it up close You really don't know Look who's outside a cafe anyway by the way Hi Mark It's Benita the Rodeo Queen I'm really here and I really got my horse Dilly <laughs> And to this grown field player tell you what What? Trump would never lie He always tells the truth Oh Okay Is it that Then you're gonna put all these fact checkers out of work So I think if you had a fact-checking app attached to every politician in D.C. or attached to every DJ on the radio, those things would be going off. You wouldn't be able to talk to anybody because the noises those things would make would be so loud. It would deafen us as a nation. Look who else is here. Hello, Mark. I'm making a delicious root beer. How's it right now? Oh, this looks good. Let me Mmm. Oh, Wow. I taste cumin in that. That's not right. Yeah, it's my cumin root beer. Drink it right now. I'll cut you. Well, Rocky's meowing. He wants me to stop the show. So I should end it by giving you this phone number first. Call Mike at the Cafe Anyway hotline. Area code 510 228 
4640. And then say, next show, it's Madame Rutabaga, Valentino, and Bison Bentley. And with more ways to reach me, it's A-Friend. Mike's TV Podcast is written and produced and performed by Mike Matthews. His podcast is super easy to find. Download or listen to his show and read his blog at mikesdailypodcast.com. Email Mike now at mikesdailypodcast at gmail.com. See you tomorrow. Bye.